All right, so I had uh, some comments on some earlier videos on Google Keep, uh, specifically around how to manage Google Keep notes once you've actually got them in there. And Google Keep offers a ton of different ways to do that. Um, but specifically, one of the comments was, how do you keep your notes so clean? Where are all your notes? Um, so the secret that I do that I used to do that is actually the same way that I approach Gmail, which is kind of a zero inbox um, approach. And Google Keep has a ton of features that really help you accumulate notes and then search and organize them or re even resurface them whenever you need them later. So uh, I'll walk you through a couple of those today. If it helps, awesome. So, um, so I guess the first place to start is how I use Google Keep. So during the day, I use Google Keep um, to take photos, I take audio notes sometimes, I write notes down as people uh, ask me questions or whatever it is. It just kind of is an accumulated, unsorted mess of things that I pick out through, through pick up through the day. Um, and then usually at the end of the day, sometimes the next morning, I'll pop into Google Keep and I'll just look at the unsorted mess and I'll start to sort it. So here I've got some examples of notes and I'll go through kind of the process. So here uh, I know that there's a couple of them here that relate to future videos that I want to do. Um, actually one that I'm doing right now, uh, keep archiving. So I know that those two are related, so I can very quickly just select those two notes. And the first thing that I'm gonna do, because you see over here on the left-hand side, I've got a ton of labels. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just add a label. So in that, I'm gonna go down, and you can see that I have a lot of different labels, but I'll use the demo label today. Um, and you'll see that that applied demo uh, to both of those keep notes. Now. I also have kind of a color coding system that I use, similar to like fire flagging, you know, that with red being priority and then uh, kind of goes down from there. These are th tasks that I want to do. Um, and so for tasks that I'm actually wanting to do, I usually use this orange or peach color. Um, and so there I've got tasks that uh, now have a color to them. Now, the next thing I'll do is that I want to set a reminder for those. And so I want to do a reminder so that tomorrow um, on my phone and in notifications on my Chromebook that the Google Keep reminder pops up. So I'm going to set that for tomorrow at 9 a.m. And so you'll see that that actually applied tomorrow at 9 a.m. Really cool. That will now show up on my phone at 9 a.m. Um, so once I've done that, I've actually got the time set. I've got a color code if I need to search it later. Uh, and I've got the um, label that's applied. Uh, so from there, I can go up to archive and then I can just archive it. Now, I can always go back and find it through search or something like that, but I don't actually have to have it just sitting in Google Keep, um, kind of just sitting there. You know, I've actually processed it. I've put it in a queue. It's going to pop back up when I need it. Um, and that makes it really convenient. And so here I've got one that's more of a geographically tied Google Keep note. So I know that the next time I'm at the main building, I need to pick up the box deliveries. All right. So on that one, still, we're going to go with the task color. We're going to add a label just for uh, this video of demo. And then we're going to go on to the remind me. But in this case, uh, it's actually going to be a geographic location. And because my work location is set for the uh, main building, I go in here and I set it. And you'll see that there's actually the 500 Broadway at Eagle. Um, that will pop up when I pull into the parking lot at uh, the main building. So super, super simple uh, to be able to do that. Now here I've taken a picture and these are just kind of the instructions on how to use some of our, we have Google Meet hardware in our, in our uh, conference rooms, uh, but we also have other hardware that integrates with it. Um, and so I just wanted to capture the instructions that were posted there. So there, um, similar to like, you know, any kind of posted or keep, uh, keep notes. Um, I just use a yellow cause it's informational and same thing. I can come in here, add a label. Uh, this is just another way to add a label uh, from within the note and close. And right there, there's the archive button. So uh, one really cool thing is that once you archive it, 
Um, you will be unsurprised that uh, Google is very good at search and you can click on the search bar and then because we've assigned those colors and those labels, you'll see that there's a lot of different options to be able to surface that stuff and find it later. Uh, so you can always type in body text information from the Keep Note and surface it there, but it also isolates by like image, lists, reminders, any Keep Notes that have reminders, any drawings you've got, um, obviously all of your labels are there um, and you know even yeah things people colors uh, and so there's a lot of different options uh, in addition to just typing in uh, text that would surface you've got a lot of different options to be able to sort and uh, find your notes so yeah that's how I use it and I hope it helps later oh uh, let's also talk really quick before that um, edit labels so if you are going to start proliferating labels, and I typically try and keep it on the lightweight side, I don't want to have like thousands of labels, um, but you can come in and edit labels, and this is where you can actually create labels, change names and stuff like that. It's super helpful. Um, you can apply multiple labels uh, to keep notes, uh, but for right now, I've processed all the notes from yesterday. I've got a clean note thing. I can now use Google Keep as my second brain, pick up all the stuff that I'm gonna to encounter today and then process it either later today or tomorrow. All right, I hope that helps, later.